everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today's video is gonna be a what's in my bag and the bag I'm currently using is the one I showed in my sales haul and it's from Siobhan Sheen and it is the medium nightingale bag. So I picked this up in a Selfridges sale and it's real leather and it's a bag that I've wanted for a very, very long time and it's also quite a big bag which is um, something that I don't usually go for. I used to use a lot of big bags but I haven't recently been buying a lot of big bags until I bought this one. So I'll start with the bag itself and on the bag itself I have this little um, pom pom keyring and this is from Charlotte Simone. Um, I showed it in my What I Got For Christmas video and it's the fake fair one and it has a little suede tassel thing and it says Charlotte Simone on a big silver like love heart thing. I just have that clipped on because I just really really like the look of it and I really really love um, like pom poms on bags and stuff and it matches my Charlotte Simone scarves as well. So um, I'll open the bag and the first thing is um, another bag which I have inside here and this is the um, Rottweiler clutch that I showed. Now I use this as a clutch bag sometimes but I also use it inside my bag as like a little organiser thing and um, I have shopping bags either side of it so it doesn't get scratched or anything and I'm quite careful so I think it's fine to use it inside. The first thing is my makeup bag and it's the I Am Fierce bag. Um, this is from Rock On Ruby, designed by my friend Dom from Dom and Ink and um, I'll link where you can get these in the description box but it's really really nice kind of like slogan makeup bags and it's just a soft black material. And in here I have a mirror, I got this for Christmas and um, it's just like a two way mirror with a little heart glittery thing on. And then I have three lip products. The one I'm wearing today, which is the NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade 04 London, which is like a nice browny nude colour. I really, really like this. I really like the smell of it. It feels really nice on the lips and I love the colour as well. And it's quite long lasting. And this was 550 from Boots. Um, I picked it up last week. So also have the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner in Pillow Talk, which is the lip liner I use more or less all the time and another lipstick in here which is the Kiko cream lipstick I think this is in the shade 501 which is just like a natural pink colour. Also in this middle bit is my card holder. This is from Michael Kors and I got it from the outlet store and it just has things like Costa card, Superdrug, Paper Chase, um, I think I've got a card for more Ryman's, just kind of like loyalty and discount cards in here. And then I also have another little purse from Jewels, which is just a coin purse, it's empty at the moment. I did have some um, Christmas money in here, but I spent it, so I just have the empty purse. It seems to come out really, but that was still in here. And then also, it should have been in there, it wasn't, because um, I've just took it out of my work bag to put it back in, and it's my house key. And I had it in this little Radley um, coin key purse thing. I've had this for absolutely ages, they still make them, and it's just like a little purse, and then you can attach your key to a um, like chain so it doesn't get lost and it also means your keys don't scratch anything else in your bag either. So that's everything that's in my little Rottweiler clutch. We also have some shopping bags. first one is a foldable one from Kath Kidson and the second one is another one that I got for Christmas from my friend and it has this um, little design on it and it has like a shoulder strap as well. This one is a lot stronger so if you're getting things like books or anything like that then or you're getting shoes or something, then that's a really good one. And the reason I carry them around is just that I think it's a bit ridiculous paying for a carrier bag everywhere. So I carry them around. And I also have this one as well. It's a little fold up one from MS. Obviously, if I'm not going shopping, I wouldn't carry all those around. But last weekend I went shopping, so that's why they're still in here. I also have a leaflet about um, a cash passport because I, I booked my flight to New York for the summer so excited and I need to start um, looking at money to take stuff so that's just in there, I picked that up from the travel agent. I also have some tissues, these are Christmas ones, I got them for Christmas and I've put them in my bag because I just thought they'd be handy. I have my umbrella which is an essential thing in England and this is just from Primark. Um, I've had it for about six months and it's lasted me really really well, I think it's about four or five pounds. Next I have my purse which is a Karl Lagerfeld purse. I got this from Harvey Nichols last summer. Um, I'm sure they still make similar ones. If not, I think Michael Kors do ones like this. I think Mario Jacobs do this kind of style. And it's just like a textured leather with a little piece and just a Carl Lagerfeld badge. 
and it has a gold zipper and then it just kind of opens like that and it's full of cards and receipts and stuff so I'm not going to show you everything that's in it. And then I also have in the pockets, there's some pockets down the side here on the bag, I have um, hand sanitizer. this is the Red Ruby, um, one from Bath and Body Works, my friend that lives in New York that I'm going to visit bought me these a while ago so I will be definitely picking up more of these when I go in the summer. And I also have my phone which is um, iPhone 5S. Um, by the time this video goes up I'll probably upgrade my phone but at the moment I've got the 5S and I've got the gold one and my case is from Skinny Dip and I got it in a birch box I think in November so that's my phone. And then in this back pocket here I just have like feminine products and um, the authenticity thing for my bag, another carrier bag and some like um, ibuprofen and stuff like that, some painkillers in case I need them and that's everything that's in my bag. I don't tend to have a lot of junk in it as I said I clean it out quite often. Um, I have done one of these videos once before with my Nike Cause um, like tote so if you want to see um, what I was carrying in that bag then you can go and watch that video. Um, but it doesn't tend to change much depending on what bag um, I use. Um, in terms of the bag itself, it's a really, really beautiful bag. Uh, really enjoy using it. I tend to carry it with these handles, but this strap will go over your shoulder. Um, so I like that you can wear it two ways, and especially if you start shopping and you get heavy bags, it's really useful to be able to put it on your shoulder. Um, the leather is really, really beautiful. I've had a lot of compliments on this bag. Um, it's definitely kind of a recognised design and style without it being too in your face. Obviously the branding is really, really subtle, it's just this kind of embossing on the handles. Um, but yeah, I really, really love this bag. You can still get the style of bag. I think it's um, just one piece now rather. Mine has like four stitched pieces. I think the new one has um, just one piece. But you can still get the style if you really, really like it. So I'll link one of them below so you can find it. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!